Welcome back, friends. It is day seven of the 30-day journal challenge. Wow, that feels like such an accomplishment to do all these videos and journal with you for a whole week straight. So um, whether you're just joining me on day one, your day one, or you've been um, showing up almost every day or every day for a week. I just want to um, have you congratulate yourself for showing up here and doing this. The quote that's inspiring our journaling today is by a writer and artist whose name is Mary Ann Radmacher. And she says, courage, courage doesn't always roar. Sometimes courage is the quiet voice at the end of the day whispering, I will try again tomorrow. So there are prompts that go along with this quote. Um, and as I've mentioned in some of the other videos, I'm always so surprised what happens when I journal, like just sit down and fill in the blanks with the prompt. Um, it's always a surprise what comes out on the paper. And today I was thinking a lot about some of my favorite artists. Um, I'm actually going to be going to some of their hometowns in the south of France uh, at the end of the month. So I've been thinking about Cezanne, Van Gogh, Matisse, um, and even Picasso. Um, I'll be visiting one of my favorite museums in Barcelona, the Picasso Museum, I'm going back there again. But why I was thinking about these artists is how, um, you know, talking about Cezanne and Van Gogh, for example, they, they kept creating against all odds. I don't know if you're aware of this, but Van Gogh never made a penny off of his art in his short lifetime. He never sold any of his work and he painted all of these paintings that people now <laughs> and for some time have considered masterpieces. But, um, and then, I don't know if you can hear that in the background. That's the clang of our garbage truck going by. It's quite loud in here. Anyway. Um, and Cezanne, um, he was, I'm just looking at some of my notes here, some of my journaling that I did in response to this prompt. Cezanne was rejected from the Paris art school he wanted to attend and his work was rejected from most of the art shows and or deeply criticized. So when he was in shows, the reviews just tore him to shreds and it really had an impact on him emotionally. Um, and then later, um, Picasso and Matisse considered Cezanne like their only teacher, their master painter teacher. Um, so even though Cezanne was criticized and Van Gogh was, you know, rejected and um, both of their art wasn't really understood at the time they were making it, they kept painting anyway. And I feel like this uh, quote, the courage to try again tomorrow, I mean, how many of us give up on our creative dreams, give up on our art projects um, after not that many tries, you know? Um, and I just want to encourage you to keep going. And as I, I was saying yesterday that Keeping a journal is a really valid art form and it doesn't matter if anyone else understands the point of it or not. Think about um, some of the artists I mentioned or if you're not into painting or painters, try to find some people in the creative field or your business field that you're in who you really admire. Um, you can look at memoir, you can look at documentary, but a lot of people, um, before they are known and become successful, really struggle against a, a lot of hardship. 
And so find some role models for yourself, people who kept going and kept trying again tomorrow, even when everything was kind of stacked against them. And even when um, they were experiencing really incredible hardship, I take so much comfort in reading about history and reading about um, the artists that I love and and taking into account the history of their time because so many of these artists lived through war, they lived through pandemics as we did. Um, they, they've lived through really difficult things that affected their lives and their work. Um, and it had, it, these were circumstances that they, that they weren't in control of. So, and the same thing is happening with us. You know, there are all these things going on in our world that are not in our control. And, and how do we, when we have the time and space to be able to journal and to be able to create, how do we want to show up for ourselves? And what kind of context do we want to put our creative work into? Um, so journaling is really this way that you can find some role models to write about, to find meaning behind your journaling practice. And these quotes that I'm sharing that inspire all the journaling prompts, hopefully um, you'll look up some of these people and see what their story is. Um, and I encourage you to collect your own mm. quotes. Um, find people who you can look up to um, that maybe were misunderstood in the same ways you have felt misunderstood and keep going. Come back tomorrow. See you then.